Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Craig here from Video Juice and we are back with some more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Episode 12 this time. This is also the 100th episode. I had a lot of people telling me that um, that episode 12 was the 100th episode. So I'm, I'm going to assume they're going to do something special for it or maybe it's just going to be a big episode. Um, I'm very, I'm really looking forward to it anyway. So last time on Agents, we had a fucking incredible episode yet again. So much stuff happened. Our team got back to their present time had passed normally as far as I could tell like there was a few months had passed I think the normal like the time moving the way it did happened anyway because the monolith wasn't actually like a time machine or anything it was just a portal so and they came out where they went in we got another Comic Con then we lost another Comic Con <laughs> we got Deke back Deke <laughs> had a great scene where he like uh, like just took everything in basically and he basically just couldn't believe where he was and that um, everything was was real. <laughs> we found out that uh, General Hale has a daughter and she is a badass suited warrior who has these like Xena like uh, circular blades and she chopped off Yo-Yo's arms. That was, a, that was a big shock. It really, really, really was. I didn't expect that to happen so soon. It took me by surprise because I thought, I just thought that Cassius had done it. I thought that Cassius had captured Yo-Yo and chopped off her arms so that she couldn't uh, get up to any mischief for that. Because I mean, even giving Yo-Yo an inhibitor to stop her powers, she would still the Oya that we know would still try and do stuff. So I had thought that Cassius had done that to, um, to stop her and to, 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 to like to keep her in check, but obviously not, she lost him now. And this is obviously gonna have a big impact on her because she's gonna, I think this is gonna be her, it's gonna make her think that the past can't be changed and that it's, it's going the way it's meant to go. And now we know that Mac dies um, in the loop where we saw Yo-Yo. So uh, she's probably gonna think that Mac is gonna die soon. I really hope he doesn't, I don't want him to. I forgot to talk about the three monoliths last time. I even had it written down. I just completely forgot about it. it um, I, I mean, I don't really have a lot of input. I don't know what the third one could do. We've seen what two of them can do anyway. All We know they just open portals, but to where, I think, is where we... Um, is where we... Is what we don't know. We know one is just... Like, does the one that we've already seen, does that only open the portal to the planet that we saw? Was it Maveth? Does that only open the portal to there, or could it open it to another monolith? somewhere else out there, maybe it needs to be tuned towards a specific monolith or something, I don't know. And then one of them, you can portal through time. So I don't, I don't really know what the third one could be. Could it be portal through dimensions? Because we, we know there's other dimensions and stuff now with, uh, with Doctor Strange and that, so. That could be interesting. That's the only thing off the top of my head that I could think. Um, but yeah, I don't really want, don't really want to, I don't really want to go into detail with it here because I just, I don't have a lot of input on it, I don't know. Uh, my guess would be something to do with different dimensions or something. Maybe. And we got the Absorbing Man back, Carl Crusher Creel. Um, so that's going to be very, very interesting. I can't remember when the last time we saw him was. I can't remember. So that's going to be interesting. Um, uh, Hale is trying to start up her own team, like an anti-shield uh, villain team, I would assume. That's going to be very, very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing more about that. And honestly, I'm, I'm going to stop the recap right now because I just want to jump into this episode. I'm really, really excited. So let's jump in, check it out, see what it's like, and discuss it afterwards. Let's do this. Oh, and we also got like, we got Piper back as well, and she was bad, and then she turned good again, so that was interesting. We were watching the recap, I wonder if Ruby has powers. Because she seemed to chop off Yo-Yo's hands very, very easily, like with precision. And Yo-Yo is going fast, so she could have powers. You never know. What they would be, I, I don't know. <laughs> what is this? What? What was... Was that... Oh! Look at that intro! <laughs> that was cool. It just ran through all of the different intros. Was that Lash? That looked like Lash. Oh. Poor Mac. Jesus. Of course I am. He constantly has to see his loved ones tortured and killed. They can get her some robotic stuff, can't they? Some robotic arms. They've had that shit since season one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh! That loop. That would have sucked, man. Oh, what? From the other dimension? But it seems that this dimension can take our deepest fears and it can manifest them. Physically. Oh my god, there's so many possibilities. Oh shit. Okay, Deke. Oh no, me? No, no, hell no. No, I just got here. I just got to a world that's got ice cream and the sun and orange scented stuff. So no, no the orange scented stuff. Make it sucked into another dimension or Colton by a manifestation of fear. It's a risk I'll have to take. Uh, I knew it was gonna happen. Sure. You're needed for the future, Daisy. The future. Oh shit. To lead? That's what you said when you Oh said shit. To and to inspire. To lead what? To inspire who? There's an idea. A symbol that must continue no matter what. A shield. And I I need you to Oh shit. Oh. You've known since Ghost Rider, haven't you? I didn't know how to tell you. Is that what the deal was? He was meant to be alive. That's the he was, deal. You he was made. meant to be dead. Whatever alien voodoo was holding me together, Ghost Rider burned through it. That was the price. Ah. Oh. So what? There's nothing without you. There's Come here. <sighs> We've all suffered enough. Oh! Oh, it's an LMD! Oh, what? Shit, if they get the surveillance footage, then they can ID Deke and then they have another person they're gonna be looking for, and then Deke's whole cover is blown. It's not gonna be good. What's Colson trying to get though? What was that about? Huh? Oh, Not ready for the one on ones. Not always. We need fresh blood to lead the team. It's more than a team, and you know it. None of us are giving up on you. Well, great. Because I have every intention of walking back out of that basement. Just because I've made peace with Don yes. doesn't mean I'm in a hurry. Hell yes. Yes. I feel like Colson is going to get sucked into it just because of how much closure they're giving him. You to promise me that you'll do that no matter what happens. No, no, no it's not important, especially now it's, it's, it's just symbolic. It doesn't really change. What are the odds there's a giant stay puffed marshmallow man down there? You should first ask questions later. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice Ghostbusters reference. <laughs> I, make the base I thought they were out there doing him a cool suit. <laughs> Here we go. It's cool that they can watch. Or not. Colson. Mr. Peterson? Hello, Agent Colson. Oh! It's time I told you what's really going on here. That this is all in your head. Are you telling me that I'm still in Tahiti? No, Colson, I'm telling you that you've never been to Tahiti. Or Malta. Or Puerto Rico. Or outer space. Or the framework. Or the future. Oh, they're going to this angle. <laughs> You're on the table, Colson. Vacation on a white beach with blue water to travel to the stars to own your own plane, a car that flies, your own team, to have a family, the brilliant students you never got a chance to mentor. Jesus, the daughter you never had. He's convincing, and above all, what? Well, 
Legion. Who's he got? Ah! Uh, what? <laughs> yes! It knows how to play him anyway. That was it was good. It was convincing. Boom! Oh ho. Gone. Yes! <laughs> Backup has arrived. Lash. I'm so happy. Mike is back. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, what? Yes. <laughs> you're real, right? Please tell me you're real. Would that make this any less awkward? <laughs> yeah. Good. We have one mod to thank for that. <laughs> oh, come on, that's overstating it. Stone means a lot coming from you, too. <laughs> it's pretty touch and go up there for a while, but I called around to tell the Daisy Johnson story and was able to get everything off the checklist, though no one had ever heard of Haig. So I got something even better. Oh, he tried to get a bottle of Haig. I was pretty freaked out. Pro tip, tuck your pants into your shoes. Nothing gets up. <laughs> I was obviously talking about death luck. That's what I was saying. Is he sticking around? No. Uh. So long. Oh, shit. I know what's happening. Oh, oh I did not expect this. A hundred episode that makes sense. I was wondering what they were doing. <laughs> and it's Colson. Even before these two did. And I think we can all agree that to wait even one second to do this is playing with fire. All in favor? Aye. T full cyborg? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, <clears throat> you didn't write that down? Okay, um, got this ring that looks just like this one that my mom used to wear sometimes. It was my grandma's, I think. What? You got something? I don't know. Thinking Deke Shaw could possibly... It's not... What? Run a genetic profile to see if he was biologically linked to anyone. And it came up with a match? No. It came up with two. Oh my god! Now by the powers vested in me by, <laughs> by the two of you, I'm so happy to Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't really know either one of them. <laughs> oh, I wanted to find out. Oh, is that it? No! No! <laughs> god damn it. That episode. That episode for me was the, sh it felt like the shortest episode ever. I thought we were like, like three quarters of the way through the episode and we were kicking off into the next one. Oh, don't get me wrong, it was a perfect way to close the episode. But it's like, I, I just enjoyed it so much. I, I seriously thought there was a bit left and it just took me by surprise when it ended. Man, that was a great episode. That was incredible. I mean, I, I don't know if I could have asked for more for a 100 episode. That was great. So, Deke, I like... I kicked around the idea in my head about Deke being related to one of the main cast and there was a lot of things going around but I just, I never fully explored that idea, I never fully thought about it and it just took me by surprise, it makes sense and when you look at the, like when you look at like how Deke looks, he does have similarities to both Gemma and, uh, and Fitz, Probably like more Fitz than Gemma but that was great, that was a nice little, it was a nice little, um, a nice little reveal. I thought this episode was going to go a much, um, 
a much different direction. I thought we were going to get like the fear thing being most of the episode and having loads of cameos from different characters. Granted, I'm glad it didn't go that way because um, I feel like it would have been played out a little bit because we kind of already got that with the framework. Not in terms of like villains, but we got that with like characters and that. So it would have been too similar to that, I think. But um, I like what we got. I mean, we got a few people here. We got Lash, we got Hive, we got um, Deathlock. Great to see J. Uh, August Richards back as well. A massive fan of, um, of that actor. Um, I used to love watching him in Angel back in the day. And I loved him in this, and it was a, it was great having him back, not only to, uh, not only as like the manifestation of his fear of him, like of Coulson being more afraid of dying and having all of his friends and all the stuff that he's done after being stabbed by Loki being nothing and being meaningless and not existing basically. I love that, and having um, having Deathlock come back and save him is a great little nod to the fact that the first episode was Coulson saving him and Coulson, help, Coulson helping him. It, like, basically a full circle type thing. I loved that. It was great. And it's just great to see Deadlock back. I know they said it here, it was a once-off thing, and we, know, we knew it was a... I mean, as soon as I saw him, I knew it was going to be a once-off thing. It's far the 100 episode, but it's just great to see him back. <laughs> great to see him back. Man, that, um, there were so many good moments in this. I loved, I loved the episode. It was... Great, Hive was great, uh, Lash, great, so good. I'm processing everything, processing everything. The, the fear, the, the, the fear dimension thing was a great idea for this episode. Um, very comic booky, and it just, as I said, it allowed him to bring back those few characters just for this episode, you know. So I had talked about, we didn't get a, a lot of yo-yo this episode. Obviously, her arms are after getting chopped off, so she is resting. I talked about it did i talk about it last episode i think i talked about it last episode about the fact that she could get robot arms i mean this is a universe where like the robot limbs have been in it since season one like with deadlock and that and, and and garrick so i was thinking like could she obviously she does because i forgot that we saw her in the um in the flashback when they were in the future the flashback of like the loop after going around and um yo-yo was talking to may or someone about mac being dead and she had arms so obviously she's going to get robot arms i um, completely forgot about her having having arms in that um in that scene so she, they're going to get him she's going to be back <laughs> uh, i hope <laughs> i just i was i was thinking about like when she was talking to mac i was in my head i was like when mac said like um you just say the word i'll pick you up and we'll leave right here and now and i was thinking like that would save Mac like that that would be going against what's happening and that would be like it would be a good way of attempting to change the future but it's yo-yo she's a fighter she wants to fight she wants to fight until her last breath she wants to help the the team um so it's it's it makes sense for her character but it would have been interesting to see them um see them just get up and, and walk and try and stay out of it and just see if it affects anything but that's not that's not that's not yo-yo <laughs> you know um the, the Mac and yo-yo scene was, was great as well so the three monoliths together getting destroyed created that thing. So could that mean that the other monolith, like, I know it's gone now, but it was there. Could that have been a cross-dimension portal uh, monolith? That's what I uh, theorized at the start of the episode. Because they all did something. One was a normal teleportation, just like through space, basically. Just um, you teleport to another place, another place in that time. And then the one that they used to get back, that was teleporting through time. So I was thinking like the other one, the only thing that could have been, if it is another teleportation, if all the monoliths are just different forms of teleportation, it could have been like a different dimension thing. And then all of them blowing up, blowing up they all like combined. Uh, yeah, it was, it's, it was good. I liked that this was like a self-contained story for the 100 episodes. They, it makes sense if they take a break from, from everything outside. And, and it worked well for the story, you know. Uh, I loved it. I loved it. It's a, this is an episode I, I'm, I want to rewatch almost immediately. It was just, I loved it. The deep thing caught me by surprise, man. I'd never, I just, I had kicked around the idea in my head. I said it already. I kicked around the idea in my head, but I never fully explored it. And I love that it was, I, 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 I forgot to say it when I was talking about the wedding stuff, but I love that it was Colson that married him. It's, uh, it's good. And he's like, it was like, we need to get this done. <laughs> you need to, uh, you need to just do it before anything else comes and, and separates you again, basically. Ah. <sighs> so good it was a great way to close the episode especially with the deke reveal the thing that worries me about the deke reveal now is that hale has that information she's going to be able to piece that together so she's going to know that deke came from the future now 
again, I, I like Deke when he got outside and just taking in the earth. I love that every single scene where he's where he's just like wowed by everything. I love, I absolutely love it. It's just cool for that character to do. And the, uh, I, I like I like Deke. Deke quickly, quickly became one of my favorite um one of my favorite new characters. He's good and the actor is great. I would have liked to have seen the fear dimension. <laughs> I legitimately thought Coulson was going to get sucked into it. I thought that might have been another um, a little side story for him. I'm, I'm glad that he didn't, obviously. But uh, I would, it would have been interesting to uh, to have seen this fear dimension. So the Coulson thing was the Ghost Rider deal. That was what I had my money on. Just because it was a thing that was seeded in the finale last season. That they weren't going to not bring it back up. It was obviously a setup for this season, you know. Yeah, I didn't. like Because I was thinking, how would... The Ghost Rider deal. I was thinking like it would be his time being limited. Uh, and then when this was going on, I, when, this, when this episode was happening in my head, I, was, I think I said it in my head, I was thinking uh, maybe because he was meant to die, the Ghost Rider wanted that death. Like maybe it made an imbalance and they wanted him dead again or something like that. But it made it, like the way, the way they explained it and the way they integrated it into the story makes made sense. The stuff... That was the the Kree, uh, blood and technology shit that was holding his body together to, and and keeping him alive or not keeping him alive but that was that fixed him basically, like yeah, like using the Ghost Rider burned through that and 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 numbered his days. I am legitimately worried now that we're going to lose Coulson at the end of the season. They seem to be setting up a passing of the torch thing with Daisy. Man, the 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 one on one this. This uh, episode with, with Coulson were great, like the very emotional scenes, the act, acting was incredible. Clark Gregg was incredible this episode, he really, I, he's great, he's great anyway, but this episode he was, um, he was just incredible, like the, um, the, the scene with Daisy, and just basically him saying like, S.H.I.E.L.D. needs to live on, she's like, S.H.I.E.L.D., like you are S.H.I.E.L.D., S.H.I.E.L.D. can't live without you, it was just, it was great. I, f I feel like, and it makes sense. I was thinking like he might have passed it to May and then later on maybe May passes it down to Daisy. It makes sense to pass it to Daisy. They want some new blood in that and May is not going to be around forever. I, I really feel like they might be trying to close out this and we might lose Colson at the end of this season. I don't want that to happen, but if it does happen, I'm not going to be upset. Or, or, I will be upset, but like I won't be upset in terms of story-wise because it makes sense. Colson has had... I said, I talked about it last episode when I was theorizing about all this. Um, Coulson has had the most character development probably out of any MCU character ever. Uh, watching him for like five seasons has just been great. And watching this family become a family is, is, is after been a, it's after been a great time. <laughs> just watching, watching it happen. And it made this episode that much more powerful because we have been watching uh, this family grow and bond and uh flourish and you know it's ah oh, man all the work had been done like it's it's so good like agents have for character development and progression agents has just been non-stop good with uh like the um like the characters they can look at look at you look at fitz i'm, I'm re currently re-watching season one and fitz is so different fitz is so different from season one like they're all very different honestly but like fitz is like a, a really good example of of how well they can progress a character uh, and they've done like it wasn't rushed it was earned and it, it was done slowly and it was done carefully and it just it's great and it's, it's happened with, like even daisy you look at daisy in episode one compared to now and it's just <laughs> so different it's so good i'll be sad to see colson go but i won't be sad in terms of story i'll be sad because obviously the actor and the character i don't want him to leave but um, it makes sense. The character has come full circle. The character has had a great run. And it would make sense in terms of the story, him passing on the torch. And <sighs> yeah, I'm just sad thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sad. Thinking... Don't get me wrong. I would be glad for him. I'd be happy for him to stay. I'd be glad for him uh, to stick around for another little bit. But it seems like they're going towards uh, a Colson less agents that's if we get another season i hope we do um i really hope we do but yeah yeah i'm just i'm going over stuff um but yeah i loved i loved the uh, i love the explanation of why he's dying and why the black stuff is coming out the the technology and the damage or the, the stuff that was that was keeping him up uh, and brought him back uh fading away i've been burned out by the ghost rider that was that was good 
I don't really have a whole lot more. It's a phenomenal episode. Absolutely phenomenal episode. Blew me away. Uh, there were some surprises. There were some great action moments. The flip with uh, Deadlock. <laughs> uh, fighting the fighting the roaches was, was really, really cool. And Colson and Deadlock together again was, was great. It's For a 100th episode, it was incredible. It brought back a lot of stuff. It was emotional. It was funny. It was uh, action-y. <sighs> it was good. It was great. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, you can like, comment, and subscribe. If you liked the video, let us know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. We have some social media links and a website address down below in the description. You can check them out. We'll be back very soon with some more reactions. Check the channel, check the website, anything you want to do. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Later. So we can ride away upon it.